Hey, Jerry Lewis seemed to be suffering from amnesia. He says today that he will spank um, Lohan and also he's considering um, Hilton. And I think that he's losing his mind. Now I know he's doing a great job in his charity and all that stuff, but I guess he's coming out with this crazy talk so as to introduce his um, charitary, charitable um, tele uh, fundraising soon. However, I remember in the 60s and earlier times when Jerry Lewis and uh, the Three Stooges and all these comedians were very popular. And he seemed to forget that people were serious and intelligent and people were behaving smart because we had Sputnik and we had the Russians and the Soviets to beat and people were busy trying to compete and challenge themselves to go beyond. But he brought on some light moments. And then you have the talk, the, the uh, talk shows now with this comedic sort of flair. Um, you have Jerry Springer, another phase of the same dumb stuff. And uh, today we have the Jersey Shores, where it seems as if fighting has become a part of the culture, and um, people behaving crazy just to get um, attention. Just the other day, I was on the subway coming from San Francisco and I saw an Asian guy in the train without a shirt wearing a shorts and he's exercising and, and pulling himself up on the um, the handrail at the, at the roof of the um, car and uh, doing his crappy stuff and all this stuff. And I said, you know, probably if uh, he wants to, somebody to take his picture and put it on YouTube or for them to arrest him and he becomes a celebrity. So why Jerry Lewis should be concerned about how these people are behaving except that he give himself the blame or credit fit in that he started off people in stupid behavior they're taking the obvious stupid stuff and making it thing and then there was a TV show talking about behaving crazy now it's very hard to really pinpoint what makes people uh, come to a certain position or what changed them but I'm sure that he is a part of the mix that has now these young people wearing the pants down and people, everybody trying to play it crazy. In fact, I was speaking with an attorney the other day, and he was saying that um, everybody's crazy now. Everybody's mentally ill. And it seems to be that this is a new normal, that everybody is crazy. And it's very, it's very unlikely that that is possible. I know that um, the normal thing now seems to be that you have mental problems and you're crazy or whatever. But everybody can't be crazy, nor everybody could be sane, nor everybody could be a saint, nor everybody could be evil. It got to be probably a majority or a minority, or they're equal. And so that this new normal, I don't agree with it. I think that um, if you don't behave the way they behave, like wearing your pants down, or cussing, uh, fighting, somebody just tells you something that you don't like, you, you want to fight them, uh, these new normal, perhaps, it's the crazy thing and if you're not behaving like that you might be crazy so I think that we need to come back real quick to what reality is and find another challenge even if it's imaginary to put ourselves against and fight because when you're undisputed um, champ it's hard there's nothing to train for there's nobody in the horizon that could beat you but you need to be challenging yourself and keep working with yourself so that you continue still exceeding, excelling and trying to um, go to the zenith. Um, people are giving up now and, and the norm is so, and the standard is so low that it's, a, it's bizarre. So thanks Jerry Lewis for wanting to spank these current celebrities but I hope that you remember that you have been a instrumental in, in lowering and bringing on this crazy stupid talking culture and I hope that uh, you, you understand this. And, and, and apologize for your initiation into this world of stupid behavior and see how you could come with policies. Maybe you could start another charity in trying to f f raise monies to teach kids to behave normal again.